Yo, what's up, guys? It's Rockwell Peterson. And Isaac Wilhelmy. From Ponderosa Ponderers. Back here with uh, with a season two for yeah. our Spotify and other various podcasting platform listeners. And for you YouTube video uh, enthusiasts just tu- turning in, this is the start of our season one on YouTube. Yeah. We're moving over. We're making the switch. Uh, we're testing it out. Checking yeah. it out. Figured it'd be fun and... We got the whole setup going, so uh, believe it or not, we're going to do a bit of a different topic today. Very different. We're going to be, uh, we discovered online Pokemon unboxing. Yeah, so it's like normal pack unboxing in real life, but yeah. it's digital. So we were, you want, you want to tell them the story or do you want me to? The whole story? So yeah. So one of our friends uh, bought a bunch of booster boxes, which comes... Uh, in them are 30, 40 packs of Pokemon cards, and yeah. they all have a QR QR code. Yeah, a QR code. QR for... code in them, and then you go online and then scan the QR code, and you get packs online. Yeah, and so then you can open those packs. Now, if you can find some full art, which is, we'll, we'll show you what those look like uh, as we're unboxing all of them, but if you get a full art, uh, rare, you can sell it for money. Mm-hmm. So we figured we'd take some of those QR codes and redeem them online. So today we're going to be showing you guys what stuff we look like, what stuff we get at the same time that we're finding out. Yeah. So let's get right into it. We are going to hop right over here and boom. So now we're here. And we are going to hop up into the packs section. So you can see that we have a Pokemon Sun and Moon trading card. So you go ahead and click that open pack box there. You drag across the top. And voila. (laughs) Yeah, we also have about almost 100 packs. Oh, dude, check it. It's It's a rainbow hollow. Yeah, a hollow rainbow, holographic rainbow sandile. Nice. And then... And that's a rare card. Yeah, that's a rare card that looks to be rainbow, not holographic. Um, Nope, not the get more. (laughs) We're we're still learning this system a bit. A little bit of kinks. (laughs) Just just a little bit. So we hop back into packs here. Now we got 21 sword and shields. Yep. That's a lot. Let's get going, <laughs> folks. We're going to drag across the top. As you can see, it's for six and up. <laughs> we're down hey, hey. Six and oh. up. Let's go. Woo! So now we're here. Yeah, and those face down cards are the rare card, which can be a full Boom! Art, like that. This is, this is exactly what we're talking about. That looks like a full art rainbow Torkoal V series. Yeah. Now that. That's a good find. Yeah, you can clearly tell it's a full art because yeah, the whole it, card... the whole card is covered. Is, like, the Pokemon. Yeah, so you can see how in some of these other ones, like this Sobble right here, uh, it's just in the top part that it has the um, image in, mm-hmm. as opposed to a full art where it covers the entire thing. And this is also a hollow. You can tell by, like, the water signs on it, and it's kind of shiny a little bit. Yeah. Eh, oh, it's a little one. That's all right. That's one. all right. We got a lot of packs to get we to. Got so a like lot. we're we're fu- oh okay. Just a normal trainer. Boom! Oh, another man. full art. Look more Pico V series. Huh. Okay, I've not even seen that Pokemon I haven't before. Either. That it is looks like a Pikachu mix. Like uh, like Venom, like Pikachu Venom yeah. style. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or like uh, what's those things? Um, a. Where it's like the the strawberry and the chocolate and the vanilla ice cream, what's that called? What's that kind of ice cream called? Is it sherbet? No, not no. no, no that's like a type of ice cream. Uh, it's not not metropolitan. Um, I have no idea. I can't think of it. It's just mixed. I'm sure we're gonna get a comment <laughs> where it's like it's obviously this, but yeah. that's that's the basic idea of it. We don't know. I'm not an ice cream fan. Yeah, not not really. Okay. A balloon. Boom! Hey, double double it up. Okay. Let's go. Ice Cream Man's back. (laughs) (laughs) That's just that's his name from now. Yep. Ice Cream Cream Man. Man. All right. 
Okay. Okay. Stun journey. rare. Got a okay. stun journey. And then you can uh, hover over those, and yeah. you see the circle down by the little numbers on the left. That means Bottom it's left. common. Yeah. That means it's common. A diamond means it's uncommon, so... Yeah, right like there. that. Like that is an uncommon, and, and then, then a rare is a star. Yeah. Yep. So, as we keep going through these, and remember that uh, these rules also apply to the in-person cards. Yeah. The paperback cards. Yep. Oh, Ooh, V series Lapras. Lapras. Okay, that, okay. That looks cool. Okay, the ocean loop ability is so good. Is 210 it? damage. Look at that. You stack four energy cards on that, and it is insane. That would one hit anybody. Just about anything. Yeah. That would one hit itself. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's. We've breaking news. We found another creature that can wipe out its entire species, just like humans can. Lapras. V series full art Lapras confirmed. Easy. Wipes, boom. Too easy. Weapons of mass destruction. That's why they don't fight each other. Exactly. Figured it out. Okay. Raichu. Raichu. Raichu's always a favorite. Oh, yeah. I mean, any sort of Pikachu evolution is just amazing. Exactly. Honestly, their skills are kind of broken. <laughs> unless, unless you can get a good counter for them, you're just in, you're in a rough spot. Yeah. Also, let us know if you want to see us duel people. Because with oh, these absolutely. cards that we get, yeah. we can duel people. We can build a deck and duel people. Uh, I mean, if, if you like these kind of videos, we're thinking about streaming us doing like tournaments and stuff. Because yeah. I haven't... I haven't really paid attention to Pokemon since I was a little kid. I haven't either. Yeah, and but... like, within this year, it popped off. Oh, yeah. Like, I, it's like, huge. We went shopping for Pokemon cards because we were kind of killing time and it's yeah. it's fun to unbox them and look for like rare cards that you can sell they were just sold out everywhere we went to two walmarts a target a gamestop and just like almost everywhere it was yeah. just sold out i was just sold surprised out surprised because oh yeah around here i'm like oh no one's gonna oh, buy yeah. Pokemon. oh yeah come on sold out everywhere insane everywhere i mean if it wasn't for riley who had like all those booster packs yeah. i mean that man is going to have, I think we did the math, what was it, 2,400 QR codes? Yeah, 2,400 QR yeah, codes. Yeah, it's insane. It's insane. 24,000 so cards. If, <laughs> if you guys want to see some of the cards that he gets, I mean, obviously we're not going to go through all of them unless yeah. you guys really want us to, but if you want to, like, if you guys want to see some of them, we'd be happy to. Even oh, yeah. if it's just, like, the final oh, yeah. result, we can bring him on here and show them. Yeah, and maybe in the future we'll actually do a real-life paperback Oh, yeah, absolutely, video. absolutely. I mean, those are really interesting. They take a bit longer to open, though, which is yeah. why we went with this format. Mm -hmm. Quick and easy for the first one. Oh, yeah, plus it's a lot easier to show you guys what we're talking about rather yeah. than trying to, like, hold the cards up to the camera and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that is But, cool. yeah, the, uh, these QR codes, this is what we're talking about. You find them on the back, like, in the back of all those packs. Back of the packs, yeah. Now, you can see that this QR code is basically useless now, because we've... We used we've, it. we've redeemed it already, yeah. so I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not afraid yeah. of showing them to yeah. you guys. But, yeah, this is the... These are the cards to look for to do this. And if you want to, feel free. If you play this, or if you're interested in getting into it, contact us. You can learn with us, basically, and we'd yeah. be happy to play with you. It'd be a lot of fun. For sure. And let's see what we get now. Galarian Perserker. Okay. 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 It's like a Meowth yes. evolution. Something like that. I think so. Oh. Oh, if that would have been a full art. That would have been cool. That would have been a really cool full art. It's still a cool Pokemon, though. Yeah. Maybe um, we might get a full art. Like maybe. his next one. Oh, yeah. Maybe not him, but... but we'll see. But we'll see. Let's see. Oh, double. Pokemon. Okay. Uh, oh, another Lapras. Lapras. A hollow Lapras. Oh, uh, just a normal rare. Sandaconda. <laughs> Sandaconda. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like coil makes sense to me, but the skull bash? Skull bash. It bashes you with, with its skull, obviously. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously, it's a but snake. like. Like I, it goes into bite, but it like tilts yeah, it, it just down like It just headbutts head you. Yeah. So it's like, so a Sandaconda is like half goat, half anaconda. anaconda. But it looks like a snake. I mean, yeah, sort of. Where's the goat part? I don't, I don't, I don't or know. maybe it's just a sand snake. I don't, I, yeah, maybe, but like, I don't know, you guys, you guys can probably tell us better. Yeah. Like, does it, would a sand snake have anything to do with it? Like, I really, I really don't know. 
Huh, okay. So we're, we're a little bit dry right now. A little got bit. got two in a row, they're like, ah. Oh, hey, nah, it's all good. We're, we're, we're figuring it out. Yeah. Volpix, Volpix is always Oh, Lantern. Pretty. Oh, I mean, fan favorite, honestly. Yeah. Gen 1. Not, not mm. that amazing, but... Fan favorite. Fan favorite. Clearly. For sure. Okay. Grapple cut, grapple locked, grapple locked. Octopus. Octopus. Nice. Until this some of some of the Pokemon's like I feel like they ran out of ideas. Clearly. Yeah. Like, they're like oh let's make an octopus. Let's make a lantern out of a Pokemon. Did you see the one that they did where it was like a UFO? Yeah. Yeah. I did. That's I don't. How does that work? A UFO Pokemon. I mean, I, I guess so. I mean. They have a lot of dogs. Yeah, so, a lot of like dogs. Like that one right there. A lot of dogs. What, Yamper? Yep, Yamper. Roar and Static Shock. Okay. A lot of dogs. A lot, a lot of dogs. Uh, let's see here. Because with the new Sword and Shield, both legendaries are dogs. True. So. True. Just. So many memes came out point. of that, though, like comparing dogs with machetes and stuff in their mouth to those oh, Pokemon. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, so many. So oh, many. There's a Pikachu. Oh, oh. Classic. Fan Everyone favorite. Everyone knows who a Pikachu Fan is. Fan favorite. Cloyster. I mean, that. Eh. Yeah. It's okay. not the best. Yeah. Not terrible by any means, but not amazing. Man. We got really lucky just right off the bat, all those full yeah. arts as we were talking about it. Yeah, we did. We made them look way more common than they actually are. Like, trust us, folks. We've we've gone through these a little bit just to try it out. It's there's there's a lot. Yeah. There's there's a lot of non full art decks. A lot, a lot of them. But we also do have a lot of packs. Oh, so many. And we're oh, getting look. Oh, full art oh. Marty Trainer Rainbow. That's a secret. Okay. Rainbows are secret. Full arts. Each play so. each player shuffles their hand and puts it on the bottom of their deck. If either player put any cards on the bottom of their deck in this way, you draw five cards and your opponent draws four cards. Hmm. Huh. And so like there's a normal full art of this and then there's a rainbow full art. Yeah. And the rainbow full art is considered a secret full art. Really? Which is more expensive than Oh wow. Full art. Yeah. Well, would you look at that, folks? <laughs> Got a secret full art. Also, if you're interested in exchanging any of these, there's a trading system on this. Yeah. And is. so if you like any of these cards that we're running through right now, go ahead and hit us up. We'd be happy to trade with you. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh that, another full art. Tuna full art Cramorant V-Series. So... It's a funny looking Pokemon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, doesn't, doesn't the hierarchy kind of go like... So there's the full arts, which are rare, obviously, and then the full art V series, and then the full art V Max series, yeah, and then the full art Rainbow. Mm -hmm. And so I think within that you can also have the V V Max and the regular. Yeah. So if you can get a Rainbow full art mm -hmm. V Max, you are that's golden. That's good. You are golden. Or like a Charizard, just a full art. Charizard. Oh yeah. Oh god, was it? What was it? A full art Charizard V Max that Logic sold for Logic bought for two hundred twenty five thousand dollars. It's insane. Oh yeah, mint condition. Another one um, went for five hundred thousand uh, dollars in England. Pokemon cards are popping off there. Oh, it is. They're expensive. It is absolutely insane. It is. Ab I mean, we probably shouldn't be recommending them to like do this, but we'd also be happy to have you guys doing it with us. That you know what true. I mean? Okay. I'm not saying go buy a but, card for five hundred. Yeah, no, don't, don't do that. Unless you want to buy them from us, we'd be happy <laughs> to sell them to you for five hundred thousand. Oh yeah. If you have the money, just oh, <laughs> throw one in a row. Let's dude, go. we're popping Too off. Easy. Oh Too yeah, easy. oh yeah, dude. Yeah, man. We should have just created an account that was our Ponderosa Ponderers account. Oh, we should have. Yeah. I don't know, man. But now smart. you're gonna be more stacked than I am. Yeah, because he got what. Around I got 50, 40. Yeah, I, I opened like, uh, I think we opened 50 packs on my account mm -hmm. to test it out before we showed it to you guys so we could yep. like understand it. I think I got, what was it, like six or eight full outs? Around I, there, yeah. Yeah, I think we've gotten that many in, in this video so far. Oh, yeah. And we haven't even opened oh, yeah. half. No, dude. Like, 
You are stacked, stacked. Would you be willing to trade some with me? I'll be willing to battle you, and if you win, <laughs> then I'll, I might trade. How am I supposed to beat you when you could literally just throw out an entire deck of four? It's got to be fair. <laughs> That'd be fair. <laughs> Fine, we're, we're limiting it to six or eight full arts. Oh, jeez, that is going to be a bloodbath. That's going to be interesting. I'm glad we went through the tutorial, because otherwise I would have no idea how to play this thing. Yeah, I but really I, do, I do have a little bit more experience with Pokemon than you, like with True. evolutions and all that. Yeah, so yeah, you really do. I might have the upper hand. But... Yeah, just a little bit. Not only do you have the upper hand in experience and skill, but now you also got it in full arts. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Watch, for the rest of the video, there's just going to be absolutely no full arts. That would suck. Yeah. That We're, would be like 80 cards. Oh, Jesus. Arts. We're probably not going to go through all of them with you guys, but if we can always come Quite back to it because we will have a lot of QR codes in the future as well. So oh, if, you, yeah. if, if you want us to come back to it, we would be happy to. For sure. Let's see here. Let's run through the rest of these, and then we can talk for a bit. Um, more and then kind of wrap it up and be done. Mm -hmm. Also, shout out to my girlfriend for getting me this sick shirt for Christmas. It's dope. I oh, like yeah. It. Like I said earlier, I have no idea what it says, oh, but yeah. I like the design. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to take this audio and also post it to our anchor.fm. Mm -hmm. So if you want to check us out on our um, non-visual sites, you know, podcasting platforms... We are on nine different platforms, but most mm -hmm. reputably we are on uh, Spotify, we are on Anchor, and we are on iTunes. Apple Podcasts. And Apple Podcasts. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to check us out on there, Ponderosa Ponderers, also on our Instagram, Ponderosa underscore Ponderers, mm -hmm. capital P in both uh, areas. We'd be happy to hear from you. We'd be happy to talk to you. It's great having you guys tune in. Thank you so much. But for you guys listening, uh, my girlfriend got me this really cool... Um, Nordic shirt that's a Valknut with a bunch of uh, runes around it. Mm -hmm. And I'm an Odinist, so I just figured I'd give her a shout-out since we're on camera. Yeah, might as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, throw a little love her way. <laughs> 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 Appreciate her for uh, hanging out while I'm streaming with the boys. Oh, yeah. Grand Bull. Gran Not your Gran grandma's Gran split bull. <laughs> Headbutt. I if your grandma had a pit bull like that. Oh, Jesus. That would be ruthless. It would be terrifying. How would that even work with, like, the tusk coming up from underneath? It looked like a boar. It looked like one of those, like, wild pigs. Yeah. Yeah. Your grandma would just have a wild oh, yeah. pig run. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know what's really interesting is that it's, like, wild boars, like, wild hogs and pigs are the exact same genetically. They're the same creature. How is it? Like, so, like, they escape, and so, like, their skin becomes, like, thick and hairy, and they start growing tusks just by escaping into the wild and living there for a while. So, like, there's a big problem that's starting to spread throughout the U.S., because it's, it's a bad problem in Texas, but it's starting to spread. Because these things breed like rabbits. Oh. And so, and they'll eat anything. So they just decimate the ecosystem. And they'll, like, oh, the wild ones, if they get a taste for flesh, will hunt humans. That's not good. Oh, yeah. Not good at all. Like, there's uh, there's this mini version of them called javelinas. Like, a small version of them. So, it's like, think of, like, the chihuahua yeah. of wild pigs. Javelinas. And oh, they're... Fast. Yeah. Yeah. And so, it's like, they're, they're in Colorado, too. And apparently, they'll, like, attack tires and stuff if you're up in the mountains. Yeah. Like, if you park near their area, they'll get mad and, like, tear up your tires and go after you. And they're so small, it's like, how do you fight them? Yeah. But that's that's the craziest thing, is that it's like, you take these wild hogs out of that environment and, like, domesticate them for, like, a couple of weeks to a month or something like that. And they're like pigs. And they're pigs again. They're tusks. I mean, with tusks. Yeah, like, yeah. their tusks will still be there, but you can, yeah. like, cut them off and they'll be fine. Hmm. And, like, their skin starts going back. That. Yeah, no, it's crazy. And so it's like, there's because of that, there's a theory going around that it's like, humans now might be our own missing link because if we had a similar thing where it's like think about it you're you're living off the land every single day no real comfort it's like you're living in a cave you're a caveman yeah same size brain same everything same ability for language mm. 
You'll but adapt. it's like, yeah, oh yeah. You'll adapt to your environment, clearly. But it's like, it, think about it, if the D DNA changed in the same way, like our, our skin became thicker, we became mm. hairier, we became like bulkier, like bigger, to be better to survive. Yeah. Because it's like, just... I mean, I wouldn't like that. Yeah, I don't I mean, like, like... <laughs> Be like Bigfoot out there. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you know that Bigfoot was like actually a real animal? That's what's so interesting about it. It's like 10,000 years ago, there existed a great ape that like looked like our modern day depiction of great, of like Bigfoot. Really? Yeah. Was it like a mutation of a human? No, it was like a great ape. ape. It was okay. like an eight to nine foot tall great ape. Jeez. Yeah, so like a gorilla. That would be scary. Yeah. I would not oh, yeah. come across that. Oh yeah. Or like those uh Billy Billy uh chimpanzees chimpanzees or Billy apes. Like the six foot tall chimps I told you about. Oh yeah. Yeah. Six foot tall, four hundred pound chimpanzees. That's Those like things are terrifying. People. Oh, yeah. Because people are like, imagine if, like, Pokemon were real. I'm yeah. like, yeah, animals may not be able to shoot lightning at you, but they can be six-foot-tall chimpanzees that are 400 pounds corded muscle. And that throw are, you across yeah, the world. Yeah, rip your face <laughs> off. Like, the average height of a man in the U.S. is 5'8". Mm -hmm. Now, I'm 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, yeah. And you're... About six foot. I'm like 5'11". Yeah, yeah. So it's like, the, the chimp would be about your height. Yeah, that's scary. That's, that's terrifying. That is terrifying. Or power over. Oh yeah. The population. Oh basically. yeah, absolutely. That is that is that's absolutely crazy. insane. But I mean, we are mutants because we're. I mean, true. Together, absolutely. So. I mean, we got that radiation raining down on us all the time. Oh, God, we are just showering radiation. Oh that's yeah. We well, I mean, it's like those those new can those new apartments they're building up by the airport. The water is so irradiated that like people can't use it. Like, it was a yeah. huge, like, lawsuit thing or yeah. something like that. Yeah. No, it's... it's not like, okay. <laughs> that's insane to me, dude. That's insane to me, because we used to... We still do store all these nukes out here in South Dakota. Yeah. Like, we I have mean, all these nuclear silos that yeah. are launch-ready. That's insane to me. Yeah. And they say it's fine, but I'm like, it's concrete. It was built in the 50s. Of course it's leaking radiation. radiation. Gonna leak, yeah. yeah. Plus, we have natural, natural uranium in the ground. And, because of the trade winds... When you launch nukes in the desert, like it's gonna in the southwest, spread. yeah, it yeah. goes up into the atmosphere, and the winds shower it down upon the breadbasket that is the Great Plains. Mm -hmm. So America, all the food that you guys are eating, radiation, radiation. radiation. Before you even talk about insecticides, radiation. Mm -hmm. Like that is that is just insane to me. That is absolutely insane. All the insane. corn, dude. Oh God! All the wheat. Now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Darkrai. Yeah. Dark oh, dark. wow. Yeah, dark, dark cry. Dark cry. <laughs> Legendary hollow. Oh, a leopard. That, that's literally just mm. leopard with... <laughs> yes, the lion must leopard. must lie a lot, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's limber. <laughs> so this Pokemon can't be paralyzed. Wow. Oh, wow, wow. That is... Special. A really good oh, ability. Yeah. Oh, kinky power whip. Oh. Effective. Thank you, Sarina. Isn't okay. that, wasn't that like a nickname for like, cause like the, there was a Russian Tsar is what it'd be like the Russian Tsar and then the, would it be Tsares, Tsarina? I have no idea. They might've just straight no up idea. ripped off the Russians. <laughs> like, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, none of the Royal family members are alive to complain after the Romanovs, but still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sweet coon. Legendary okay. Dago. Okay. And. Ampharos. Yeah. Ampharos. Cool. Electric ball, 130 damage. <laughs> Why? Overpowered. I mean, it is a third evolution. Uh, fair. Evolve it twice. Fair. Fletchender. I've Fletchender. not ever seen that before, but that's a hollow. So that's that nice. Is. It's a rare hollow. Not a... Oh, oh full art. Salamence. Salamence. Okay. Didn't we already get a Salamence already? Yeah, we did on my account. Yeah. Yeah, that's It was a it different was. full art. Yeah. Different full art. Yeah, because it was two Salamences, I'm pretty sure. It might have been, yeah. Salamence. Okay. Spin a rack. Nice. Nice little spider hollow. I mean, completely useless, but yeah. nice that it's hollow. Mm -hmm. You might be able to fetch something for that. Delicati. It's a delicate cat. It would be a delicacy in China. <laughs> I mean, it's a China-based <laughs> game, so. Is, is Pokemon China-based? I thought it was uh, uh, Japan. Oh. 
Or is it is it American? I don't know. It's definitely not American. You guys tell us. I think like, it's Yeah, I think you might be right with I, Japan. It might Oh, oh Pokemon Breeders Japan. Nurturing Full Art. Nice. Choose up to two of your Pokemon in play. For each of those Pokemon, search your deck for a card that evolves from the Pokemon and put it onto the Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. You can't use this card during your first turn or on a Pokemon that was put into play this turn. Okay, that is kind of overpowered. Yeah, I was going to say that, that. Is, that is very overpowered. That is very overpowered. But I mean, it's a full art. So. Uh, I mean, full arts are full arts. <laughs> okay. okay. It's a Volcarona. It's a Volcano Moth. Coronavirus, if it uh, Whoa. if it became Whoa. volcano, yeah, like if it was a fire, fire type corona, vol oh, corona, vol corona, <laughs> that's not okay. No, no, we're not. We're especially in these times. Let's 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 avoid viral. Yeah, let's Pompeii. Stay away from that. Like <laughs> no, thank you. Nice Vanillux. He's got a straw in his head. It's it's vanilla ice, ice cream. cream. Yeah. It is bitter cold vanilla that's ice cream. It's literally ice cream. You freezer burn you freezer burn vanilla ice cream. And that's what you get. Sweet. Um, vanilla. I don't remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Oh, oh full Rhyperior. art Rhyperior V series. There Ooh. You go. Heavy rock artillery. Dang, Whoa. That guy's hefty. Yeah, that is a big boy. And we are getting a lot of full arts here. There we are. I'm glad. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is awesome. You're gonna make some sweet <laughs> cash off of this if you sell it, or play in tournaments. Or play in tournaments. I mean, honestly, if we can win some money off of tournaments, oh, hey, Vanillux is back. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ah, uh, Lava Tower. Oh, double Lava opening. Lava Darmanat Darmanitan. Okay. Is it water attack? Sorry, oh, no. Another one. Okay, folks, we're going to go to a quick commercial break, and we'll be...